There you are. You know what time it is. It's time for the greatest event in the world, and that is the Super Bowl. Yes, the Super Bowl, y'all, where you sit down in front of the television, you're, you're locked in, you don't even want to drop your eyes during the commercials because those are fantastic. So you're concentrating on the good food being there, whether it's hot wings, barbecue ribs, maybe some guacamole, some nachos, all finger foods. Because again, you don't want to drop your eyes even for a minute because you'll miss something that everybody's talking about. But I want to give you something a little bit different, uh, something that uh, it's been fire, fire approved, trust me, and that's a chicken salad. But I'm doing a little bit of a twist on it. I'm going to be putting it on some crostinis and I'm adding some chipotle. So trust me, it's great Super Bowl fair food. So let's get cooking. All right, so the beauty of this recipe is you can either make it the day before or the day of. And if you eliminate the crostini itself, there's absolutely zero cooking. In fact, most of the items are staple items. Then, you know, a couple exceptions are like the chicken. Now, in reference to the chicken, you know me, I prefer that you guys get the chicken yourself and roast it, but this is one of those days where it's totally acceptable to cheat because it's the Super Bowl. You want to be locked in on family and friends and, of course, the game. So what I did is I went ahead and bought a rotisserie chicken from the local store. You let it come to room temperature, you take off the skin, you take out the bones, you chop up both the light and the dark meat. In fact, let's just go ahead and get started on it now.
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. An elevator finger food for you this upcoming Super Bowl. Hopefully you take this recipe and run with it. You'll notice that I added some pickled radish on top. It's a great topping for it, but feel free to add whatever you want. Uh, I typically recommend like a fresh herb, like a cilantro or an Italian parsley. I also took the liberty of taking the garlic bitter chips that I made when flavoring the oil for the bread and chopped them up and sprinkled them on top, which was a fantastic addition. But uh, let me warn you, it's only for those that really, really, truly love garlic because it is quite a bit. And uh, one last note on the recipe. You notice I only added two, maybe three chipotles to the uh, recipe. It makes a very, very subtle smokiness and heat to it. Very, very subtle though. I like mine to be a little bit more prominent because it's Super Bowl, you want something spicy. So go ahead and double that if you know that's your history and that's what your personal preference is. I really like that. So uh, guys, as always, please take this, enjoy, relax, have a good time in the Super Bowl, eat all the good food, but above all, spend some time with some friends and family and may your team win, even if they didn't make the Super Bowl this year. Take care, my friends. Thank you.